Hey guys, it's Smashly. Welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to be recreating yet another project from our wedding for you guys today. We will be making DIY floral hoop bouquets. <laughs> so for our wedding, we chose to do the floral hoop bouquet over the traditional bouquet because not only are the materials to make them significantly cheaper, it also became this beautiful keepsake item that my friends could repurpose after our wedding and I love that factor about them. The theme of our wedding included hexagons, so we chose to take our floral hoops even a step further and we purchased these steel rods from Home Depot, which we then bent and fused into the shape of a hexagon and then spray painted gold like the one that you see right here. Don't worry, I have one up close for you guys to see. But these were the actual hoops that we used for our bridesmaids during our wedding. Okay, so let's get into materials. For this, you will need, of course, your floral hoops. For today's video, we will be using the larger one. I got this entire pack at Walmart for less than $3. And I also noticed it comes with a little mini. So if you wanted to make a floral hoop for your flower girl, you could totally do that. You will also need your floral wire, floral tape, wire cutting scissors, and last but not least, all of your flowers. The very first thing that I did was I cut all of the flowers off of the main stem that they come on. So for this, you'll wanna take your wire cutter. They bend, so you can kinda of just bend this out. And then for mine, go here. You just snap it off. And the main goal is gonna be really to create almost an assembly line of your florals, your greeneries, your fillers. That way you can kind of easily pull as you start to wrap around the hoop and it makes the process go by way faster. Now that we have our assembly line completely laid out, the next thing that I like to do before I even start to wrap the flowers around the hoop, I like to just arrange them in my hand first, just so I can get an idea of what the final look is going to be. What I would recommend is figuring out what your focal point flower is going to be. So for me, it's gonna be these little guys. I want these to pop out. So essentially every other flower that we put around it is gonna be a filler and an added bonus, but we really want these guys to stand out. So from here, I will just pull from the assembly line whatever other flowers I wanna start adding in and kinda of just switch things around. So this is the final result. I will try and get as close to this as possible while wrapping it around the hoop. From here, I would recommend taking a picture of this in your hand just because it's going to be impossible to, you know, match it without having something to reference back to. Before we actually start to wrap the flowers, I would recommend um, finding where they fused the hoop together and covering that piece with flowers just so that when you hang it, I know it's a really small imperfection, but we're gonna cover this thing with flowers anyway, so might as well, right? So I found that they then fused it down here, so this is gonna be the area, this is gonna be the area where I'm gonna wrap the flowers around. So we'll go ahead and get started. All right, to start, we're gonna grab that focal point flower that we talked about earlier and we're gonna start wrapping. Now, when you do this, if you're going to be putting the hoop against a flat surface, either a wall or one of your bridesmaids, you wanna make sure that the flowers are kind of pointing away from that. So you almost need to create an edge. So what I like to do is just kind of bend and I move like this little leaf upwards and kind of bend as much as you want it to stick out. So I want it to be about that far out, actually probably a little less. So about that far away. And then this is where you're gonna start to wrap around the hoop and then we'll follow that with some floral wire. Thank you. 
just like to give it a little squeeze. These are also really good. They have like the pointy tips for bending it. And I like the floral wire because it's definitely secure. So this flower, it might turn a little bit, but it's not falling off. But because it does have the pointy ends, I will eventually follow up with the floral tape. That way, if the bridesmaids are holding it, it's not something that can catch and snag on their dress. And likewise, if this is going up on a wall, it won't scratch the wall. So I'm gonna keep repeating the same process. We'll add our fillers, we'll add our other flowers, and then you'll start to see me wrap with the floral tape as well. All right, so I think I have all of the flowers, finally, that I want to have on the hoop. You saw me go back at the beginning and start to use some of the floral tape. I'm just gonna do one final once over, just to make sure that there are no you know, pointy ends, no wires sticking out anywhere, and that it's completely safe to put on the wall or have your bridesmaids hold. And so all of this we're gonna wanna cover up. I'm kind of impressed. This is the final reveal, the final look. I think I want it to be this way. You can tell I like flowers. I absolutely love the way that this came out. I don't know why I didn't think I was gonna like it as much as I actually do, but I can't wait to find a new place for it in the home. I think it's gonna look beautiful. Some final notes that I wanted to go through. You can make this as full as you'd like. I've also seen uh, other people recreate this with just greenery and no flowers at all. So you can get really creative and really custom with the, the piece that you put together, which I love. For me personally, I like a lot of texture in my floral arrangements and my bouquets and things like that. So that's clearly what I go for. If that seems to resonate with you, 1000% go for it. But take this as an opportunity to definitely make it your own style. I tried my best to calculate the cost, a little difficult because I have a ton of leftover flowers and a ton of hoops left over, but I think overall about 15 bucks or less is what we're talking about for something like this. So when you talk about having your wedding and needing to cut costs, you know, 15 bucks of a quick fun DIY weekend with your girls versus paying, you know, 50, 60, 70, hundred dollars. I've even seen some bridesmaids bouquets. It's definitely a fun, creative alternative, which looks absolutely flawless. I will be sharing some pictures from my wedding of how the floral hoop bouquets looked next to my real bouquet. And I just, I, I love it. I think that this, that this came out so cool. I'm excited to put this around in the house. I hope that you guys love this video and look forward to some future content from me. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.